There is a stranger standing on a bridge, holding a cardboard sign that reads, Seek Light, Government Town, a first choice community. The residents call themselves Happies. They call us them, but we don't come up in conversation much. Here, the sun is a pest, a pendulum in the sky with dreams of lighting faces instead of backs, birthing shadows, who live among the happies, stepped on, neglected, hated, not for their darkness, but for what created it. They're afraid of the light. They bulldozed earth to submission, cemented her a concrete psych ward to house screams. Nothing dares take root here. Synthetic people fear cracks in their sidewalks, so they build castles out of plastic, linoleum layered on the ground, patio, poolside gazebo, stainless steel grill. They seal off the edges and call it home. Time is an assembly line. Days on conveyor belts strapped to powder kegs in gray suits who change their ties to match the color of threat levels, fill their heads with binary code, and get hair plugs when veneer smiles start to crack. Cows of consumption graze supermarket aisles. Babies dangle, medallions worn on outings. Mothers compare infants like food prices, each pushing her own product, hoping it will be front shelf material. Little ones guzzle this attention. They don't long for their toys. Play pens are glass boxes used to store trinkets. Shiny things worn only when mommy plays dress up. Rich women mass at shopping malls. Shrouds of fabrics from places they will never visit. Mannequins are shrines, dressing rooms, confessionals. They clutch credit cards like rosaries because taxes are tithes in heaven. It's just a dream their mothers dressed them for years ago. Children play, never knowing what grass stains are. Schools don't exist. Television is teacher and babysitter. When kids sleep, they never dream. Brains, tuned in since birth, not even their subconscious can pierce the static. While awake, they are watching a town of contortionists. A wall encloses this artificial Eden in cinder block embrace built three years ago when maximum capacity was reached. And then the laws were passed. Happies breathe each other's air because suffocation is safer. They're afraid of the light. They're afraid of our light. This bridge is the only exit. There is a stranger standing on the bridge. He lives with his face in sunlight. Talks with his shadow, unseen. Government town is too perfect. He stands there, cardboard signs sagging like a broken wing, waiting for someone to leave.